Okay then, for our start today's Towns FN Seguru setup guide for Windows PC. If you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new retro setup guide. Plus, it really helps out my channel too, for which I'm always really appreciative of. So we're looking at FM Towns today. We're looking at the CD-ROM aspect of it, as well as floppy disk drives. For those of you not aware of FM Towns Japanese system from the late 1980s to around the mid 1990s we got FM Towns as well as the FM Towns Marty console which like I say were both Japanese and the West didn't really see much of this so that's a real shame but anyways today's your chance to play some real awesome games using this emulator so what we're going to do is head over to this github page we're going to download the latest version of this we're going to go down to windows binary latest just download this one once you've downloaded that zip folder this is what you're going to get so if we open this one up We've got Seguru inside, so what I'm going to do is create a new folder on my desktop. Right click, new folder, and I'm just going to call this folder FM Towns. You can name this whatever you like. What we're going to do is just drag and drop those files inside of that FM Towns folder I've just created. Next thing we're going to need, and this is crucial, otherwise nothing's going to work, is we're going to need some ROMs or BIOS, as people might call them. These are what I've got just here. So we got FMT underscore dick dot rom and so on. So just pause the screen just there so you're very aware of what we need just here. Now, what I'm going to do with this folder is just drag and drop it into that FM Towns folder just there. Just make everything nice and neat. Everything's together. Next up, we're going to need some games. So I got Raiden just here. And as we can see, this is a CD ROM image. We got dot bin and we got dot Q. What I'm going to do then is go into my FM Towns folder. And within this folder, I'm going to right click new folder and I'm going to call this folder CDs. Inside of this folder, I'm going to create another folder. So again, right click, new folder, and just give it a title so we know exactly what's what. Go inside of that folder, and then I'm going to just drag and drop those dot bins and dot Q inside. Okie doke. So if we come out then, we're going to find we got Seguru underscore cui and we got guru underscore gui we're going to open up the gui dot executable windows protected your pc just go to more info and run anyway okay here we go then so don't be too intimidated by the gui or the graphical user interface it really really isn't that bad so don't freak out at this point First thing, what we're going to do is add those ROM files. So to do this, we're going to go to the ROMs directory tab just there, which you can find under main. As you can see, it's already set up for me, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Left click on ROM directory, desktop, and we're going to point it into that ROMs folder that created. So, so we're going to find my FM Towns folder, and I'm going to left click once on ROMs and open. Open. Now, once you put those into place, to prevent you from doing this over and over again every time you open up this emulator, just simply go up to File, Save as Default, and yes. So every time you open up Seguru, everything's already intact. You don't need to go through that process over and over again. Next up, we're obviously going to want to connect a controller. So I'm using an Xbox Series controller for this. What I'm going to do then is go to Game Port and we got game port zero if i just drop this one down now we got a selection here what to use for me personally with the xbox series controller this one just here game pads by host game controller analog zero is working fine i'm going to leave game port one to mouse and that's fine and again just make sure you save everything as default just to stop you from having to do this over and over again and we're going to boot up a game for the first time so we're going to go to the cd image and again, we need to point this into the location of where the CD-based games are. So desktop, FM Towns folder, and CDs. Here's my Raiden folder, and here is my game, the .q. Okay, so everything is now in place. For any reason at all, if you want to boot up this particular emulator just to run this particular game, then just go to File and save this default. Okay, so next thing we got just here is auto scale and fit the size. If we drop this down, 
we can actually put this into full screen. Let's put this into full screen. And I open up my game this time. So I'm going to go to start. Okay, as you can see, CD base games are working fine. So next up, we got floppy disk images. Now, let me just remind you that there's more CD-ROMs or .bin and .q files than there is floppy disks. But if you want floppy disks to run, what we're going to do is just go into that FM Towns folder again. And inside of my disks folder just here, I've got some games. So I've got these in .da8 file extension and these are working fine. So again, just like CDs, what I'm going to do is drag in that disk folder and then open up the Tuskuru GUI again. Okay, this time round, what we're going to do is actually go to FD0. This is probably disk drive 0. And if I then just navigate over to my folder so again desktop and we're going to look for fm towns and here's my disk folder now files of type what i need to do is drop this one down and because my games are in dot da8 file extension i need to select the top one just here and that's going to show my dot da8 games so we got a game here which has got two discs so i'm going to select the one out of two first and that one's now mounted into drive zero and now fd1 I'm going to go back to that disk folder and select disk 2 or 2. So once that's done, all I need to do then is go to start. Game should then start loading up. And let me just tell you that we got actually got a menu button just in the bottom right hand corner. If I left click on that one, I can do things such as save games from here. So if I want to save a game, I'm going to just go at the states at the top just here. Okay, so if I go to say machine state, what I'm going to do is go to files of type and select the next one down. That's now gave us an empty space in the file name above that. Let me just tell you that your save states are going to go into your documents folder and I'll show you where that is in a second. But as you can see, it's in my Seguru underscore towns. So we're going to give this a name and to be honest, I'm not sure what this game is called because it's Japanese. Uh, whatever, I'm going to just do this just to show you how to save and load. So we're going to give it a file name of LOL. If I open... Okay, so we'll stop it there, and I'm going to load up that save state. So again, what I need to do is go to states, load machine state, and here's my LOL save state. If I double left click on this one, and here we go, it's now loaded back to where I just saved it from. Now, like I was saying, once you start the emulator and start doing bits and pieces, it's going to automatically generate a folder in your documents folder. So in here, I can find to screw through towns. So here's my save states just here. We got the LOL I've just done. And of course, we can also do the same with CD based games. So if I open up my Raiden game again, so if we just put the game back into place, so obviously for CD based games, we're going to go to CD images and then just go to the location of where your CD games are, just like I did a minute ago. So CDs, Raiden, Raiden. So we're going to boot up the game again. And if I just start up the game. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to the menu at the bottom right hand side. And then up on states, I'm going to go to save machine state. And just here, we're going to find file as a type. If I select the next one down, that's going to blank out file name. So I'm going to name this Raiden. And then go to open. And to load that again, I'm going to go back to menu at the bottom right hand side to go at the states, load machine state. If I select Raiden, and there we go, as you can see, it's just loaded back where I saved it from. And that's it for today's FN Towns and FN Towns Morty Emulator Setup Guide for Windows PC. So like I just said, during the setup guide, most games are actually on CD, so .bin and .q files. And like I also said, it's crucial that you use the BIOS or ROM files as they're referred to in this emulator. So anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. And if you're interested in Japanese computers, then check out my very awesome Sharp X68000 emulator setup guide I did the other day. Personally, I think that's one of the best setup guides I did. The Sharp is just as awesome as the FM Townsend. Sadly, the West didn't really get to experience this. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.